welcome to today's session today we are going to discuss about binary tree insertion binary tree will have at most two children every node will have at most two children and you can see the left child will be less than the root and the right child will be greater than the root okay so now we are going to see how to insert into a binary tree or how to create the binary tree from the scratch along with that we are also going to see the uh, java code for insertion okay suppose this is a number that you want to uh, insert into a binary tree so we have to take the first number so the first number will form the uh, root of the tree now you have to take the second number the second number is less than the root so you have to insert the second number in the left sub tree you have to take the next number 20 20 is less than the root so you have to travel down the left sub tree now 20 is again less than 30 so you have to insert 20 to the left of 30 so always if you have a number the number is less than the root you have to travel down the left sub tree if it is greater then you have to travel down the right sub tree the next number you want to insert is 40 so if you see 40, 40 is less than 50, so left subtree. Now here you see 40 is greater than this root, so it has to be inserted to the right. The next element that you want to insert is 70. 70 is greater than the root, so you have to travel to the right side. The next number is 60. 60 is greater than 50, so travel along the right side. Now again 60 is less than 70 so you have to insert in the left part. The next is 80. 80 is greater than 50. It's greater than 70 so it should be on the right side. So now as a result of this insertion we got a balanced tree. So you can see every uh, node is having two children. See this is having two children. This is having two children. So this is a complete balanced tree. So always you may not get a balanced tree uh, when you do a binary tree insertion maybe your tree is uh, some uh, nodes are not having two children will have only one children uh, some nodes will not have children so like that uh, always it will not result in a balanced tree okay so now we are going to see the logic uh, the java program java code to create this binary tree insertion okay the first and foremost thing that you have to do is first you have to create the node see you have to take the first number and put it in a node right a node what is the characteristics of the node node will have key so here you can see you have a key value inside the node and every node will have a left child will have a left child and it will have a right child okay so what are the properties a node will have it will have a key and then it will have a left child and it will have a right child so we are going to declare the node first so to declare that we will create a class called as node so node will have a key and then the left child and the right child so what is a left child left child is again a node it will also have a key it will have a left child and it will have a right child so how i will declare left child and uh, right child i will use the same data type node type okay so left comma right okay so this is the first thing i have to do okay whenever you create a new node what are the things we have to do when you create a new node so we have to write the constructor for this class okay so when you create a new node maybe you will pass some value inside okay so in that case what will be your key your key, key will be whatever value you pass here comma so initially you created initially you inserted 50 and created a root node right so in the key value will be 50 and initially the left child so initially left child will be null right child will be null right when you create the first node this will be null and this also will be null right so the second step will be left equal to or right equal to null okay so this is the concept of creating the node so once we have uh, created the node now we have to uh, declare something called as a root right the first one is called as a root so you have can declare root so root okay and initially root will be null before we insert any of these values root value will be null okay so let me show you in the code 
So now in this uh, code you can see a class binary tree is created inside the class we create the class node okay then we declare root now inside the constructor of this class the outer class binary tree we assume root is equal to null okay then we are going to discuss the concept of insert okay now here if you see Yeah. Now here if you see, we will discuss the concept of insert. Suppose I call the method, uh, you, you can see there are two methods for insert. Now what this method does, this method just calls another method called insert record. Because if anyone wants to insert, just they will call insert 50. Okay. So no need to pass the root every time when you want to insert a new node. Okay. So just call insert. Now this method in turn calls insert rec method along with the value of root. Okay, so no need to pass root as a parameter when you call insert method. That is only requirement of having two methods like this. So this insert method just it directs the call to another method called as insert rec with two parameter node and the key value okay so let's uh, see the logic behind the insert in binary tree everything is rigor is uh, is achieved using recursive uh, concept okay so if you want to insert recursive call is made if you want to delete a node recursive call will be made if you want to um, search a binary tree recursive call will be made okay so recursion plays major role in binary tree operation okay so now let's see how to insert uh, 50 okay so if you want to uh, insert 50 we will just call the method insert 50 so this in turn calls so this method in turn calls insert rec okay so initially uh, we assumed root equal to null right so it will call insert rec null comma the key that you want to insert is 50 so this will be your key okay now now coming to this method so this is your this is the first parameter is your root sorry the first parameter is your root the next parameter is your key okay now you check whether root is equal to equal to null. So when root is null, you're going to create a new node. So you know how to create a new node. So a new node will be created. And what will be the key? The value here will be your key. Okay. And the left child will be null and right child will be null. This is the code to create the new node. And return root. Okay. So this is the root now. Initially it was null. Now the root is 50. So it returns back. So actually you called from here right so it returns back here so what will be your root your root will be 50 now this is your root okay now suppose you want to insert the next item you call insert 30 okay so you're calling insert 30 so this is your key value okay so this in turn calls this method right so it calls insert rec okay root root value is 50 comma you want to insert 30 so this is your root now and this is your key now okay now when you come here this condition is not satisfied root is not equal to null check whether your key is less than the root what is your key key is 30 is less than your root yes it is less in that case you have to call the method recursively again so from from this point you are calling this method again okay so why i am insisting on this point is because you have to remember you have to return back to this position later okay okay so i am writing this one root is equal to insert rec right so from here you are recursively calling the method again so root dot left is equal to you are calling the method again insert rec what is root dot left what is your root actually root was 50 root dot left is null so null comma key is 30 so you're calling it again so when you call again now this will be your new root value this will be your key now you check root is equal to equal to null then you have to create a new node so i will be creating a new node okay so new node will be 30 and the left child will be null and right child will be null and returned root okay so this root was initially null you put 30 into it 
So return root. See here, return root. So what will happen? This 30 will be written back here. N return back here. Now root dot left. Now which is the uh, root from where you came from? You came from the previous step, right? So in previous step, root was 50. Now root dot left equal to this one return the root value. So this will be 30. So 50 dot left will be 30. So in 50 dot left, you have to assign 30. Hope you understood this one. See, uh, here this one will create a new node and return that value. Okay, return that value. Now you have to go back to the previous step. So what was the root value in the previous step? Root value was 50. Root dot left. So in the left side of 50, you have to assign 30. So that's why I told you, you have to remember, you have to go back uh, to the position where you called it from. Okay, because you have a return here. Okay, and you can see uh, if you come to any of this position also, at last you have a return root. So from wherever you called, uh, at last you will be returning back to the original place from where you called. The original place will be root equal to 50. Okay, now let's see one more example. Insert 20. Okay, so insert 20. I'm calling this method. So this in turn will call root equal to insert rec the root value is 50 comma key value is 20 okay so it's calling this method so first time you're calling this method okay so this will be your root and this will be your key now check this condition is not satisfied here you check the key is less than the root okay so you have to come here so second time you're calling the same method again so this time you call root dot left equal to insert rec root dot left so what is the left of 50 root root is 50 right so 50 dot left is 30 so here 30 comma key will be 20 okay so key will be 20 so now this will be your root and this will be your key so again you come here okay this condition is not satisfied root is not equal to null so again your key value is less than root so this condition is satisfied so again you have to call this method so Second time already you are called. Third time again you are calling it. Okay. So root dot left equal to insert rec. Okay. So what is the left of, see, root dot left. What is root? Root is 30. What is the left of 30? Left of 30 is null. So null comma 20. Okay. So you are calling it again. See, third time you are calling it again. So when you call it again, root is equal to equal to null, right? So when root is equal to equal to null, the recursive call is finishing here. So when it is null, you have to create a new node. So I'm creating a new node. Okay, put the key inside the new node. My left uh, child will be null. The right child will be null. And what you have returned root. Okay, return this. So what will be root dot left? Root dot left will be your new node 20. Okay, which root? Which is a root? Go back to the previous step. Which was a root? Root was 30. So 30 is the left will be 20. Understand? Then again here you have return root, right? Return root. Okay. So um, so the, it comes return here. Okay. Return root. Again it comes here. So what will be your root finally? Root will be 50. So after insertion, see, you can see the root value is keep on changing. From 50, it became 30. From 30, it became null. Okay. And when you have return root, this will return to the previous step. This will return to the previous step. Finally, return root will return the value 50 itself. Okay. So this is what I want to um, insist on. Uh, let us do one more example and all the other examples follow the same step. Okay. So insert 40. You want to insert 40. So we will call root equal to, uh, sorry, insert rec for, uh, sorry, the root is 50, comma, you want to insert 40. Okay, so it calls this method. So this will be your root, this will be your key. Okay, so now you can see uh, which condition is satisfied. This condition is satisfied. The key is less than the root. So you call root dot left equal to, insert rec what is your root dot left 50 is left is what 30 so 30 comma 40 now this will be your new root value this will be your key so you have to call the method again uh, here you see the key value is greater than the root so in that case you have to call this method so this will be root dot 
right equal to insert rec insert rec root dot right which was a root 30 was a root what is the right of uh, 30 it's null so this will be null comma the key that you want to insert so call the method again if root is null so this will be your root value this will be your key value if root is null what you have to do you have to create a new node so just create a new node and put the value 40 insert and then left child will be null right child will be null and return root so it returns back here now see root dot right which is a root in the previous step 30 so 30 is right will be your new node so 30 is right will be your new node okay so return back here again return root return back here return root what was a root in the initial step 50 so root value will be 50 so after insertion again the root value will be 50 it will return back to the same position root value is equal to 50 in the next condition you see you have to insert 70 70 will be greater than 50 so you have to insert in the right side the same procedure is followed to insert all the other elements also so this is how recursively the insertion method is called to insert a node into the b tree so hope you understood uh, the concept of insertion and the logic behind the code thank you for listening